another video today in this video i'm going to flash the evaluation x was uh, android version uh, 11 so let's get started you guys already can see uh, i have booted my device on twrp so you guys already know what we have to do just go to wipe option and select dalby data cache system and vendor and select wipe when it will be done just do a format data and remember one thing when you are moving from the same android version then you don't need to format data but for a clean flash i'm doing this so that's why you guys can see here the format option so type yes and just format when it will be done you can reboot your device into recovery and if you don't want to do then no problem so now let's navigate to the folder where we have stored your files so here is the files so now select the file here you guys can see evolution x 5.5 version and 5.6 version and which is unofficial build but this is really better than official version and you guys can see the 5.6 version i'm uh, selecting the latest version and you guys can use this uh, 5.6 version on your uh, 2 gb ram variant devices no problem so select the file and swipe to flash and remember one thing don't flash magics uh, with the room and uh, don't flash gfs because this is a gfs build so you don't need to flash uh, the gf separately that means play store is included already so you guys can see flashing almost done so you guys can see almost complete so now just click on reboot system don't flash magics uh, you can flash magics uh, after first boot no problem when, when your device will boot and then you can uh, come back to TWRP again and then flash magics if you want to boot your device so here you guys can see the boot animation of evolution x and after completing setup, I will uh, show you guys. Uh, so you guys can see the device finally booted. And after completing setup, I will do a review of that room, uh, the Geekbench scores, and the safety net issues, and everything I will talk about in this video later. So after completing setup, I'm back with the review, guys. So now let's get started from the setting. And let me show you the kernel version and the android version of course android version 11 you guys can see here and the perf plus kernel and which is really capable of playing games or day-to-day -day life task so no issues on that and let me show you the home settings and we have by default the pixel launcher and we don't have uh, inbuilt app, lo uh, app locker so if you guys want to use built-in application uh, locker then you guys uh, can install uh, using magic's module uh, the oxygen os launcher and different kind of launcher you guys can use but i showed you guys in different uh, videos of my previous videos you guys can check uh, i have showed that the oxygen os launcher is working pretty much fine on android 11 and this is android 11 of course and so now let's check out the system we have the google keyboard no issues on that and now check uh, the digital well-being is working pretty much fine and everything no problem on that and for security we have the uh, fingerprint is pretty much uh, fast and uh, fast and accurate and then you guys can use the face unlock and which is also pretty much fast and I have tested both no issues on that uh, just uh, you guys can believe me I, j I just can't show you right now those are working pretty much fine and uh, let's come to the display and what do we have they have uh, made a category here differently uh, brightness uh, lock display and you guys can see visibility and the color everything they have made a different category here and general so you guys can change everything if uh, what you want here so that's the settings um, and let's come to the network setting we have the uh, Wi-Fi calling system or not? Uh, yes, of course we have that Wi-Fi calling system. No issues on that, and of course Volti working. And now let's come to the customization hub. First of all, the themes a different new look. You guys can see, you guys can change the icon shapes here. Different icons are there, and Z visual mode. You guys can change the navigation bar color. 
you guys can see here the bar color is red you guys can change it to purple blue rose any you guys can change no issues on that and volume style you guys can change the volume style i have made it like this this is audio and you guys can make it expand a compact stock panel and tiled whatever you want you guys can change no issues on that and let's come to the status bar clock and date you guys can change according to your test no problem but indicator and traffic indicators just everything is pretty much working fine and uh, notifications uh, I'm I'm talking just uh, working talking faster because I, I don't want to make a video longer so just watch this just have a look on every settings quick settings what do we have you guys already know about that and you guys can check uh, as you want no problem and power menu we have advanced reboot system so let me show you advanced reboot system this is advanced reboot system you guys can directly uh, boot your device into recovery and bootloader system ui restart everything we have no problem on that so power menu and finally you have in here gesture the system settings you can can enable um, every feature here no problem and three finger screenshot everything is working no issues and lock screen always on schedule no issues and navigation you guys can change here no problem and animation of course we have animations if you enable different animations are available and miscellaneous here the gaming mode of course we have gaming mode so uh, which increased your gaming performance it's really working no issues on that and so that's all the uh, things and ev about evolution no issues on that you guys can check uh, you, you as yourself so no problem and now let me show you the geekbench score which is really interesting you can see the single query score is 263 and multi core is 1001 and first time i got this score multi core score is 1001 and every uh, on my previous videos i got uh, the multi core score is uh, around 900 and something i got but uh, single core score is 263 is pretty much fine and this room is really really battery smooth you guys can see let me show you let me show you guys uh, this is a battery smooth room you guys can see it's really pretty much fine faster everything and if app opening and closing time is working pretty much fine no issues on that and everything is just cool you guys can see here it's working pretty much fine and by default we have google camera go and if you guys uh, want to install different google camera like this i have already installed that gcam and it's working pretty much fine and this one is based on uh, an uh, 8.1 version of google camera so if you guys want to install that google camera then i'll drop the link in description you guys can check no problem on that and nice side portrait and normal mode everything is just working pretty much fine and the video mode as you guys can see here the slow motion time lapse everything is working no issues on that and the panorama and photo sphere everything is just working pretty much fine now let's come to safety net issue now let me check you guys the safety net is passed or not so you guys can see by default the safety net is passed and let me clear a few things uh, if you want to root your device just install magix after installation magix just open magix and go to setting here and then just enable that magix hide and you and reboot your device then your device will uh, be safety net passed by default now let's come to the gaming performance so you guys can see here the call of duty i have installed on my device and i played call of duty for a few uh, hours no issues on that you guys can play in low graphics and high frame rate and if you enable uh, want to enable high graphics and the maximum frame rate then you guys can use the magix module i have already provided uh, in my previous video so no issues on that and you guys can see here the papers you guys can select so many wallpapers from here no problem so i hope you guys understand the video so and let me one interesting thing the maps google maps and by default this is uh, g apps built so no issues on that so it's really pretty much fine that's my location here 
so hope you guys understand the video and if you guys really like that video then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further updates so thank you for watching